In the details this evening, an Accra High Court has advised Attorney General Godfrey Yeboadame to not be personally and directly involved in the prosecution of the ambulance trial. Justice Ifya Sewa Asari Botre, who dismissed all four applications by Richard Japa and Dr. Atoforsen, indicated that the AG recusing himself from the case will protect the judicial process and gain public confidence. My colleague, Lord Edouard Sari, sat through proceedings and reports. Head of the church triumphant, we joyfully adore thee. And I said to you that they will lay traps, but all the traps are flee from them. And indeed, only righteousness will prevail. The first accused, Dr. Atu Forsen, and the third accused, Richard Jaqua, had filed four applications seeking, among others, an order of inquiry into the conduct of the Attorney General, a mistrial, and a stay of proceedings order citing an audio tape containing a conversation between the Attorney General and the third accused. In dismissing the applications, however, Justice Asari Butri indicated that the court had no jurisdiction in a criminal matter to order an inquiry into the conduct of the Attorney General, particularly when it had called on the accused person to open their defense after the prosecution had closed its case. She also explained that there was no legal basis in the country's statutes to rely on to make an order for a mistrial. The judge stated that they had admitted the audio recording between the Attorney General and Richard Jaqua as evidence. She cited that the allegations made by the third accused against the Attorney General coercing him to implicate Atu Forsen were suggested by Mr. Jaqua and not Mr. Dame. After giving her ruling, Justice Ifya Sewa Asaribuchi advised the Attorney General to recuse himself from the trial in order to protect the judicial process. By speaking after the hearing, the Attorney General declined the offer. I mean, you remember he went court, the judge herself, even after the ruling. Clarify. I told you when he said that. And that is only an advice. Yes. And what you did notice at first, I'm conducting the matter, I'm still conducting the trial. NDC Communications Officer Sami Jinfi said they will pursue the case further. The trial judge says that it gives great discomfort for an Attorney General and Minister of Justice to be speaking to an accused person when he knows that he's not supposed to be speaking to the accused person in the first place. And to be speaking to an accused person who was a lawyer in the case against the ethics of the profession, including telling the accused person to lie and contrive a medical excuse duty to deceive the court. And the judge says these are serious issues of professional and prosecutorial misconduct and that the appropriate forum can deal with that. We have taken a cue from that. And we know that the appropriate forum is not only the GLC. The GLC is one. We shall trigger that process at the right time. Justice Efia Sewa Asaribuche further notes that the case which has been running for the past two years is in the interest of justice and the public for it to be dealt to its logical conclusion. As such, cross-examination of the third accused person, Richard Jaqua, will continue at the next adjourned date, which is next week, Tuesday, after which prosecution will also cross-examine um, the third accused person, Richard Jaqua. Lord Edwasari, TV3 News, Accra High Court.